Digital Performer is a product of the Mark of the Unicorn Company, and I am in no way associated with Mark of the Unicorn. We're going to create a project within DP right now. Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to be creating a new project within Digital Performer. How you will do that is you'll go up here to File, up here at the top, File, New. I have some preset templates that I already have done for this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and launch a mixing template here. And we'll save that new file to the desktop for now, since this is just a tutorial. You want to save your projects to another hard drive on your computer, on your Mac. Since we are in Digital Performer, it would have to be a Macintosh. So on your Mac, you definitely want to have other hard drives. So you, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll save that to the audio drive. I really don't want to clutter my drive up with it, but I'll go ahead and do it. And we'll save the project to that drive. Now, one thing about saving our projects to the to the hard drive, you want to make sure that you keep your files and your projects and your documents and everything all within the session file folder. You don't want to have your document to digital performer on another drive or or you know have them all mixed up you want to keep everything in its folder and how you can make sure that happens is you can go uh, save as and what will happen is you will get this dialog right here duplicate audio make sure this is checked when you go to save that duplicate audio and copy shared samples to project save that and it makes and it makes sure that everything is kept within this documents folder you want to make sure all your files are within the folder here hit save replace yes okay but that's pretty much it you know but another another rule of thumb is to make sure that you always put your sessions on a separate hard drive from where your operating system is residing on. So if you have a system drive, just say for instance, open the finder here, okay? Now within your file hierarchy, you'll see here all these drives. Well right here is my dedicated audio drive just for my sessions. And then you have, you know, your sample. I have a separate one for my samples. But then you have your system hard drive where OS 10 is on. You always want to record your audio to another drive that's not your system drive. Okay? Rule of thumb one with hard disk recording. Never record your audio to your system drive. It'll make your it'll make your system very sluggish and it'll just it'll just ruin the whole performance characteristics of the digital audio workstation or the software that you're using, which is digital performer in this instance. So that's the rule of the day. Make sure that you always save your files to a, an audio drive. And when you're creating a new project, make sure you keep all your, your documents and all your folders intact within one project folder.